internet. It is Saturday the 25th of February 2017. I'm just cruising up to Sutherland. I'm gonna catch up with Campbell and Adrian and Scotty Harrison's band. Their band is called Hiatus. Not Hiatus, Hiatus. Ironically, or to make it even more confusing, they've been on a hiatus for a while while Campbell's been out of town. Now that he's back in town, they're reforming and they're just up here in Southo at a studio which they rehearse at. So I'm gonna go and have a look and see what they're all about. This is the rehearsal studios where the boys rehearse, but it's not a studio in the sense, it's actually a room that AIDS rented for the last three years, three or four years, just to practice his drums. So it's a permanent setup. Well, I'll just buy a 20 for you. Hey, hey Scotty, how are you, man? It's not too bad, mate, yourself? Hey, how are you, man? How are you? How are you, Abe? Yeah, not too bad. Hey, can you explain the band name and the spelling and where it came from? I'm Adrian, and at the moment I'm playing drums. Yeah, it came from the word hiatus, and Luke tried to spell it and did it wrong, and then we just ended up creating a word called hiatus. It sounded like a a cool word, so like any other word, like Fugazi or something like that. Hey, I'm Scott, I'm guitarist. So the band has been on a hiatus for a year and a half because Luke disappeared for a while. Luke, where did you go to, man? I'm Luke, I'm on the bass, and now I'm singing. Well, I went back to Broome, had crocodiles to look after, so um, I've been up there for about a year. <laughs> Uh, feeding and living with those guys. We needed a bit of time to get our stuff together. Luke's a bit of a wild man. How many times have you trekked across this country? Yeah, many a times. Done about 10,000 k's on these feet, mate. A lot of travelling, a bit of a gypsy lifestyle. Tell us about the time when you rounded up wild camels in the Australian Outback and then ran in the Camel Cup in Alice Springs. Part of the, the job that I took was a teenager. Got into the camels, caught them. Uh, I used to walk in Alice Springs and race them and uh, did pretty good over the years. That basically quietened down my camel and then walked him to Broome. So I've been up there for oh, over 10 years now. I'll put in some little newspaper clippings and articles on this man because he's had a, definitely an interesting life. Yesterday, Aid was telling me a story about how loud they they rehearse in this room. Luke just had a very small um, PA. Eventually, we ended up with more equipment. We got louder and louder, and Luke kept turning up his amp louder. Then eventually, Scotty came in, he turned up louder, so they were against each other, trying to get louder and louder. Then eventually, you couldn't hear the drums anymore. We got that loud that somehow it set the alarm thing off, and we had to rip it out, so we got rid of the fire alarm. And there's a venue across the road, and they're actually saying that the sounds coming out of here is just getting louder and louder starting to compete with the bands that are actually playing inside the venue. It's just ridiculous and you get rat rattling on the Luke breaking a lot of strings, which are bass strings. Uh, he blew his amp out. The two of them were getting that loud. The only thing I could hear was like the china. It was just a massive wall of noise. And then they just got to the point where it's like, well, the only way to solve the problem now is we've got to mic you up. It's not about turning down, then we mic the drum kit up. And then we started to get people knocking on the door saying, what's going on in here? Is there a party or something? Can we come in? <laughs> so. You put overheads on a kit in a rehearsal room. Yeah, so next thing you know, we're all completely mic'd up in here and it was just ridiculous. I'm gonna wear earplugs. We all wear earplugs, I've been wearing industrial ones.
could even throw fu early Fugazi in that as well. But it's more, not entirely sounded like it's completely ripped off or anything. It's more like just like you got the feel of all those bands behind the music. Of no. the 90s, like growing up. Yeah, because growing up on that sort of stuff, it's got that feel going through the, the music, I think. Just all the influences of everything there. Well, that was so sick to see Hiatus smashing out that song Menace. If you like it, I'm sure they have the Facebook thing cranking. Do you have the Facebook thing cranking? I don't have the Facebook thing cranking. How can people get a hold of you guys? Coming down the street, throw a rock <laughs> on the roof. They'll find us. If you want to find out more about Hiatus, come to their rehearsal studio and hang out with them. Thanks, Aid. All right, thank you. See you, man. Thanks, oh, cool. Thanks Scotty. No worries, mate. Thank you. Go left hand yeah, side. Yeah, that's the blood one. Yeah. Show, show us your blood hand. I cleaned it up, but yeah. yeah. Blood, sweat, and rock and roll. Enjoy the rest of your rehearsal. Thanks, buddy. See, See you guys. See you, mate. Well, that was so sweet. I'm sure you guys appreciated that. A new band, old mates of mine, but a new band. Kicking it out, sounding great. Just as I've walked out of here, a band that's performing across the street at Studio 6 tonight. Now I'm not going to name names because if you want to, you can research it and find them out. But they are a rather reputable band. They heard the rehearsal coming out of the, out of the back door there. And they want to come and hang out with us. So let's go down and pick them up now. Oh that's um, we're out of time! Thanks for checking out my YouTube channel called Gives A Minute. If you liked it, please subscribe. If you're a photographer, check out my Lightroom 6 presets. Check out the previous minute there, a random minute there. Hey, it's not raining in here. That was um.